Fair far you're on a sonsy face, great chief to know the pudding race. Aboon them all, you tack your place, pinch, tripe, therm. Really, are you a wordy of grace as lang's my arm? The groaning trencher there you fill, your hurdy's like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend the mill in time of need, while through your pores the dew's distilled like amber bead. His rustic knife seed labor dyke, and cut you up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like Ani Ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight. Warm Recon, rich. Then horn for horn they stretch and strive, they'll tack the hindmost on the drive, till all their wee swell kites could lie at are bent like drums, and all good men may like to ride, could thank it hums. Is there that o'er his French ragu, or oleo that would star sue, or fricassee would macker spew with perfect scunner? Looks down with sneering, scornful view on sick of dinner. Poor devil, see him o'er his ra trash, as withered, oh, as feckless as a withered rash. <laughs> his spindle shank a good whip lash, his neve a knit through bloody flood or field to dash. Oh, how unfit! But mark the rustic, hag is fed, the trembling earth resounds his thread. Clapping his wally neve a blade. He'll make it whistle, and legs and arms and heads will sned like taps of thristle. Ye powers what mack mankind your care, and dish her out their bill of fare. Old Scotland wants in a skinking ware that jops and luggies. But if ye wish her grateful prayer, gie her a haggis. Cheers. 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 Cheers to the haggis. To the haggis. To the haggis. To the toaster. To the haggis. And to the emergency haggis.